feel like he's my son. He ain't your son. He's my son. I was gonna lie and say I learned English from watching the Bronx Tale, but Bronx Tale, Bronx Tale, but I'll teach you English. Well, I may not have learned English from the movie A Bronx Tale, but now that it's on Broadway, I've learned that this story never gets old. This was my neighborhood. This is a Bronx tale. This story is a gift that keeps on giving. Seriously, is there any other possible option, like for any other direction that it could go? Because it's been a one-man show, it's like a musical, it's a movie. Series. But see, oh my, I did not think of that. How has this been so far, this whole? The experience? Yeah. Yeah, it's been really great. I've done Broadway before, but it, uh, straight plays, but I never did a musical. However, Chaz Palminteri is no stranger to singing performing all types of music in a cover band back in the day. It was nice to take lessons again and study and and uh, bring back my voice. Yeah, it was fun. Bring back your voice. It didn't go anywhere. Well, I mean, you don't sing for a long time. You have to work on it. Then you close the door for her. Then you walk around the back of the car and you look through the rear window. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, dump her. Everyone talks like about the, the car door test. Mm. Do people tell you how many people, how many car every door day. tests? Every day, right? I walk down the street, they go, hey, Chaz, my wife passed the test, and he points to her. And that really did happen for you, and that, and the yeah. real, real life lady. Yes. And I always wondered, where is she? No, no. Have you guys, have you, has she ever reached out? Never. Why not? I don't know. We have this segment called Mary Murphy Mysteries. I'm going to have Mary Murphy find her for you. Okay. So maybe we can have her come see the show. Girls like her don't happen to guys like me. And she's just one of his many inspirations. You know, uh, Alfred Hitchcock once said, there's only three things you could do to an audience. And if you do two out of three, it's great. He said you can make them laugh, you can make them cry, or you could scare them. And in Bronx Tale, we do all three. What made you cry? Oh, I could, I could listen to a song and, and tear up a little bit sometimes. I could watch Seinfeld and just laugh. Okay. I could just watch that over and over again. Does anything scare you? Uh, Horror movies? I, I don't. You know what's funny you said that? I don't watch really scary movies. Why? I don't like watching it. Me neither. I never saw The Exodus. Exodus. Oh, okay. Never. And I, I want to see it, but I, I just... Don't see it. I don't want to see it. Don't see it. I'll tell you what happens. Her yeah. head spins. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. Your head spins. And it's going to be my head now all day. And you can currently see the great Chaz Palminteri in a Bronx tale on Broadway at the Long Acre Theater.